good morning to all of you welcome back to hospitality engineering today we will continue iot module 3 part 2 sensors We will start with the sensor's definition. Sensor is a device that detects events or changes in the environment and transforms signals from different energy domains to the electrical domain, then provides a corresponding output. There are various signal domains. We start with mechanical, thermal, electrical, magnetic, chemical and radiant. Now we will see what is Internet of Things IoT architectures. It starts with the sensor. For example, if you take on AHU, uh, the sensor uh, starts with the temperature sensor, then pressure transducer sensor, so on. So many sensors are available. The sensor connected with the IoT hardware platform which we call it as a controller from this controller there are the gateways this gateway directly connect to the cloud there are various protocol used in this configurations which we are going to see one by one in this course classification of the sensors in the first classification of the sensor they are divided into active and passive. Active sensor are those which require an external excitation signals or power signal. Whereas passive sensor on the other hand do not require any external power signal and directly generates output response. The other type of classification is based on the means of detection used in the sensor. Some of the means of detections are electric, biological, chemical, radio activities, etc. The next classification is based on conversions phenomenon. For example, the input and output. Some of the common conversion phenomena are photoelectric, thermoelectric, electrochemical, electromagnetic and thermoptic etc. The final classification of the sensors are analog and digital sensor. Analog sensor produce an analog output. For example, continuous output signal with respect to the quantity being measured. Digital sensor in contrast to analog sensor work with discrete or digital data. The data in digital sensor which is used for conversion and transmission is digital in nature. You can see here different types of sensor. As we said sensor is a device that converts signals from one energy domain to other energy. For example, usually it is an electrical domain. The definition of the sensor can be understood if we take an example into conservations. See the various sensors are shown here. Take a simple sensor like a LDR light sensor, then water flow sensor, humidity sensor, PIR sensor, temperature sensor. Another there are two types of important sensor, smart and intelligent sensor. We will see one by one. What is a smart sensor? It is a combination of a sensing element, an analog interface circuit, an analog to digital converter, which we call it ADC, and communication interface in one housing. Intelligent sensor is the sensor that has one or several intelligent functions such as self-testing, self-identification, self 
reinventions and self adaptations etc so smart relates to technological aspects whereas intelligence relates to the intellectual aspects voltage output how pressure converted into the voltage for example if uh, the pressure transmitter measures it to bar which is converted into the 2.5 volt similarly if 4 bar converted into the 5 volt you can see in the graph so v1 less than the v2 quasi digital sensor classifications quasi digital sensor here x of t gives f of t x of t gives v of t v of t gives f of t x of t gives p of t p of t gives f of t what do you mean x of t measurement f of t means frequency p of t means voltage proportional to the measurement p of t means parameters these are very important in terms of the sensor quasi sensor classification x of t gives f of t conversions sensor themselves generate a frequency output electronic circuitry might be needed for amplification of impedance matching one group of such sensor is based on resonant structures another group is based on the periodic geometrical structure of the sensor example inductive photo impulse strings acoustic and scintillation sensors x of t gives v of t v of t gives f of t conversion another example it is rather numerous sensors group simple voltage to frequency or current to frequency conversion circuit can be used example horn sensor thermocouple sensors and photo sensor based on value photoelectric sense x of t gives v of t v of t gives v of t conversions one more example we will see sensor of this group electronic oscillator based sensors are rather manifold and numerous sensor element itself is the frequency determining the element for example inductive capacitive ohmic parametric sensors you can see here the diagram itself self explanatory for this quasi digital signal waveform digital sensors output usually comes as binary code either 1 or 0 or 110 or 111 or 10 this we know what is a binary code now the serial interfaces rs 232, RS-485, RS-422 are available in today's market. USB parallel interfaces, either 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bits are available. Sensor buses, so SPI, I2C, I2C, CAN, SM bus, LIN, etc. Sensor buses are available in today market. We will see digital sensor which currently we are using in many IoT projects. Number of physical phenomenon on the basis of which direct conversion sensor with digital outputs can be designed is essentially limited. Angular positions encoder and cantilever based accelerometers are example of digital sensor of direct conversions there is not natural phenomena with discrete performance changing under pressure temperature etc quasi digital sensor advantages high noise immunity high power signal weight dynamic ranges high accuracy of reference simple interfacing simple integrations and coding multi parametricity self adaptability simplicity of interfacing parasitic electromotive forces 
which we call EMF. Try and see resistance and cross speed of channels in analog multiplexer at the usage of analog sensors or reason for errors. Frequency modulated signal is not sensitive to all listed factor. Multiplexer for frequency output sensor and transducers are very simple and do not introduce any errors. Multiparametricity one sensor output, two informative parameters. A frequency is proportional to the physical quantity of X and duty cycle at the same output is proportional to the physical quantity of Y. Today, here are some examples. It is the feature of multiparametric, multifunctionals and composite If you want to see further, you can go to the sensor web portal and you can see number of sensor for wireless each category sensors available here for the knowledge i recommend you to go to the sensor web portal where you can find the specifications and the other detail was a digital sensor on digikey this is a one electronics uh, website portal where you can buy the sensor there are a lot of quasi digital sensors, accelerometer, magnetic temperatures, rotary, linear positions, color, light, rotational speed, humidity, pressure, dust, distance, proxy width, so on. There are so many sensors, any kind of a sensor you can able to purchase from a DigiKey. There are more than 100 models of the voltage to frequency converter from analog devices also available in this portal. Quasi digital sensor manufacturer, these are the some of the important manufacturers. You can google it, you can find out all the website where you can find the different type of sensors. Sensor system design approaches. If you see the smart sensor yes, V suffix X, I suffix X gives analog digital converter it goes to the bus that is a classical approach if you see other way of advanced approach the same uh, smart sensor f suffix x gives frequency digital converter it goes to the bus that is a advanced approaches similar way the smart sensor we can combine the VFC and FPC, then it, it goes to the bus. This is a sensor system design approaches. Thank you for watching. We will continue next video. Hope you subscribe to our hospitality engineering. If not, please subscribe and turn on notification. Thank you.